What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. So for today's video, I originally planned to upload my fall shoe guide video and unfortunately, I'm so sorry I ended up running out of time and I didn't want it to be half-assed for you guys. So I will be uploading my fall shoe guide next week. I know you guys have been waiting for it and been wanting it and I'm so excited too and I hope you guys love it to death but it just wasn't ready and things just don't taste good when they're undercooked. So instead for this week, I'm going to do another requested video from you guys. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag tour. In addition to showing you guys what's inside my bag, I'm going to be doing a review on the actual bag itself. So before we get started, please make sure to click this red button right here to subscribe to my channel and also give it a big thumbs up for some more sit down product review videos from me. This is a big old bag, we got a lot to go through, so let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so let's begin with the star of the show. This bag is from a company called Henry Bendel, and this is the West 57th Carry All Handbag. The color I got is burgundy. As for the bag itself, I would categorize it as a large bag. It is 14 and a half inches across and nine and a half inches tall and five and a half inches wide. Look at that big boy. I absolutely love this bag for several reasons. First of all, the actual handles itself has about a six inch drop. It's small enough to be able to carry it by your hand, but it also has a large enough gap for you to slip your arm through and hold it like this. Next, you have triple compartment action. You have obviously the interior that holds the vast majority of all of your items. And then you have this magnetic closure to keep it shut. And last but not least, you have two pockets on one side of the interior main compartment. And then on the other side, you've got a zipper pocket and another little sleeve area where you can put thin things like pads. <laughs> Now flanking the big interior center are two other large zippered compartments where you can store other things and keep it separated from all the stuff in the main area. On the bottom, you'll find little gold studded feet to protect the bag from any type of surface area. And last but not least, it comes with a removable and adjustable strap so that you can wear it crossbody and alleviate your hands from any type of weight. So yeah, that pretty much does it for the bag. I'm obsessed with this Saffiano leather. This burgundy color is so rich and beautiful for the fall season, and I just think it gives a perfect pop of color to any outfit. I love Henry Bendel so much. I just got into this brand this past year. I feel like their bags are super premium. Even down to the details, like the hardware, it's very weighted, it feels very expensive. But the price point is still around a Michael Kors bag, so still reasonably priced in terms of like a designer type of bag. This bag is normally $400. I had a coupon and got it for only $330. I love this bag for traveling because not only does it look really nice and good quality, but all of the compartments help me organize everything. Like normally with a tote bag, I'm like throwing all my shit in there and I'm like, I hope I find my ticket in time. But the zipper compartments really help me to organize my tickets for my makeup and my wallet. All right, so that is the bag. Let's go ahead and talk about the stuff inside it. I'm almost a little nervous because the stuff in here is like not that interesting but let's go ahead and get started. First thing I have when I reach inside is of course my wallet. Lo and behold, this wallet is also from Henry Bendel. This is the West 57th Continental Wallet and I've had this guy for about six months now and it is definitely my favorite wallet that I've ever purchased. I have yet to find a wallet that actually fits all of my crap. I'm just gonna quickly show you. Wow. <laughs> this wallet literally holds everything. The gold color is just so fun. I love the fact that I have all of my cards on this side. It has extra pockets here and has an open accordion side for money. And as you can see, I've got no money, so yeah. <laughs> What a surprise. Next item in my bag is my makeup bag. Yes, I have a big ass makeup bag that I take everywhere because my face is always jacked up. Quickly inside this makeup bag, I got my favorite Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I've got my Becca Highlighting Powder. I've got a little Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeshadow Palette. Shu Amura Eyelash Curler. Benico's Black Eyeliner that I got from Vlog with Kendra. Eyeshadow and face brush. And a Carmex Moisture, wow! Flying chapsticks. <laughs> Next thing in this bag, I've got my glasses here. I've got these really cute Lulu Guinness glasses that I got from Costco. They have little leopard print on the sides, which is like so perfect for fall. 
Moving to the side pockets, I've got my favorite hand sanitizer. I got this at Whole Foods. It's my favorite hand sanitizer. This is from their EO line and the scent is lavender. When you put it on your hands, it feels like you're dancing in a lavender field. On a less sexy note, I've got my Nasacort Allergy 24 Hour Spray. If you guys didn't know, Austin is like notorious for terrible allergies. If you don't have allergies, you move here, you get allergies, and you feel miserable all day. That's just our life here. Next, I have some goat milk hand cream. I love this hand cream. You will not believe where I got this hand cream. I got this hand cream at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Yes, people, that is the secret. All the best beauty products are at your local Cracker Barrel. You're welcome. This is from a brand called Dionys. This is the scent Vanilla Bean. It dries so quickly, it moistens my skin, and the scent is so heavenly. The vanilla just makes me feel like it's the holiday season. I just love it. I've got this Old Buzz inhaler. This is like a menthol inhaler, and people think I'm crazy, like I'm doing drugs or something. I think you're supposed to like sniff it from like like a foot away, but I'm just like this I'm sure I'm giving myself severe brain damage, but damn it I cannot smell during the day and this just opens up my um, Sinus and makes me feel so good because if I let this get too clogged I get the worst migraines so this stuff really helps a lot. And last thing in pocket number one, I've got my Jack Black Lip Balm in Lemon Chamomile, and this shit is the shit. Smells so good, SPF 25, it's just the all-in-one awesome lip balm that you gotta try. Moving on to pocket number two, I've got some special things in here. First up, my emergency Lara bar for whenever my blood sugar gets crazy low. Today's flavor is chocolate coconut chew. I have been living on these religiously ever since I found out I was lactose intolerant. You have so many different diverse flavors within the Laura Bar brand and the best part is that there's only like five or six ingredients in every single bar. It's totally awesome, it's crazy delicious and it's a really nice pick me up in the middle of the day. Next thing I have, Travel Advil. I also have like my migraine medication and my UTI medication in there. Girl problems! Hanging off the side of the pocket, I've got my really cute Hollywoody sunglasses here. These are so cute, they have like a brown translucent giraffe print on the edges of the frame. I think I got these for like 20 bucks at like Urban Outfitters, I love these. And then last but not least, I have a couple of super long bobby pins hanging off the side of the pocket in case I ever need to pull a greasy bang out of my own eye. Crossing the street to the other side, I'm gonna look in my other pockets here. First thing I have is a pair of earbuds. I always have these because I like to listen to music while I'm walking and doing stuff. Next, I have two neutral twist bands. I've got like a taupe and a brown color for whenever I need to put up my hair. Two spin pins from Goody in case I need to do a quick little top knot. And last for that pocket, my Afro pick. <laughs> no, literally, it's got like a peace sign and like a fist at the tip. I didn't ask for this. It literally is the perfect teasing comb. I got it at Sally's Beauty Store. I love it. It's great for those days when my hair is just like limp and sad. I could just take this out. And it's like, bam, baby. Opening up the last secret pocket here, I've got a scrunched up pad. Always infinity, the best pads, yeah. Moving on to the outer zipper compartment, I honestly keep one zipper compartment free at all times just because during the day I'm gathering receipts, I'm getting brochures, <laughs> okay mostly just receipts, but just stuff like that that's like the day of that I need to sort through at the end of the day. I like to put that in that free empty compartment so it doesn't get mixed in with the things that I use on a daily basis. So almost like a catch all compartment for my daily activities. And then for my back compartment, this is the best part. I love having an organizer and my organizer fits perfectly in this back pocket. I think this was like the one thing that really sold me on the bag. I love having my organizer around because I always forget things and I really memorize things by writing things down physically with a pen. So being able to tote around my big ass organizer like this, being able to just slide it seamlessly through this back pocket. And I just love the fact that it's with me but it's not interrupting the main compartment of my bag. It almost serves as like a nice little backbone to it and I'm able to comfortably zipper it up so that it's out of sight, out of mind, but it's 
it's there for me whenever I need it. All right, guys, so that concludes my review of my Henry Bendel West 57th carry-all bag and also showing you guys what I have inside it. I feel like I've got really boring stuff inside my bag. I'm so sorry if this video is boring for you guys, but I'm a real person. I put practical things in there, and I just hope you guys enjoyed it still. Please be sure to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll include all linkable items in the description bar down below. Show me some love and subscribe to my channel if you're already not a subscriber and give this video a big thumbs up if you like me and my bag. Me and my bag. Me. Just a little girl in her big old bag. <laughs> Oh, I'm tired. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Again, I'm so sorry. I really wanted to get the fall shoe guide up for you guys. I know you guys have been wanting it. And I've been wanting to get it to you. But our family has just had a really trying week. It's just been a really rough time this month. Um, so I appreciate all of your guys' patience. I appreciate you just coming back and watching my stuff and watching me be a weirdo. I'm hoping things will get better soon. Jeremy and I have got a nice trip coming up. And I'm going to be vlogging for the first time in... And God forever so I'm hoping you guys enjoy that with some outfit diary action so lots of cool new things to look forward to in the upcoming weeks and um, next week actually is going to be a bonus video on Wednesday so make sure to catch that if you can't catch that then catch it on Thursday when I upload the fall guide video so love you guys to death and I will catch you guys next week bye